what's your initial assessment of the game this evening? Um, I think on our on our part, I think we'd be we'd be disappointed to to come out of that with a draw. I think at the moment we're you know if you want to push, you want to be winning those games. But I think you know they they came here today to to get a draw. I think I don't think Jay had to make one save the whole game. So I think that says a lot um, on their behalf. But you know they came and did what they obviously planned to do, and and it worked. And yeah, obviously. We're not happy of nil nil, but we just, as, as we always say, we've got to move on to the next. Um, and yeah, but I think overall it, we'll all be sort of feeling we didn't get what we wanted out of that, really. So as a defender, you must be pleased with a clean sheet. Oh yeah, definitely. I think I think Jay was um, saying in the shower about his gif looking like he's celebrating a lot, so um, he'll be happy with that, I guess. Um, yeah, and I think as a defender, you're, you're always happy with a clean sheet, so um, we just, yeah, we've got to make sure that um, we take, I mean, I had a good chance in the first half, which maybe could have done better with, but you know, that's football sometimes. So um, yeah, but yeah, happy with the clean sheet. I say as a defender, I mean, quite often in that game, you're up, up in the water yeah. half looking to whip those crosses in. We saw it against Colchester with the two assists, and it looked like you were, were going to get another one tonight. I mean, some of those runs in the nutmeg as well, you <laughs> really pleasing with your Oh, I was hoping like, when you got that on the camera, actually. But um, no, yeah, I think, I think especially first half, we got we got a lot of balls in the box, but I think, you know, the, the the qu as well, oh, sorry, I just touch it. As um, as Matty said, I think it didn't really go for us in terms of the the final third today, um, whereas it has in, in other weeks. And I think you know if we keep we keep just doing that, putting the balls in the box, I think other games we'll, we'll score from them. But it just nothing really dropped for us today. And um, yeah, on their behalf, they'd be they'd be buzzing, buzzing with that. So yeah. I guess it's frustrating, really. Walsall haven't really threatened, but but they've come away from point. You know, it's a game that you know with the passages of play and the way we were playing. We thought that we perhaps should have scored tonight. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I'll reiterate like how how I think most of us have come out of that. You know, thinking oh, we we should have won that really. Um, as I said, they didn't have didn't have one shot on target, so I don't think they did anyway. Um, yeah, and I think I think we did we did the right thing, stuck to our game plan. Um, because I think they were the type of team where, you know, they were probably just going to go for that one goal. And I think if we'd thrown loads of men forward, they would have been, you know, ready just to, to counter us. So we had to be sort of diligent in our in our defence to, to to defend that. And um, yeah, as, again, we're just yeah, obviously a bit of shame we didn't we didn't come out with, with the three points. But that's going to happen. Teams are going to teams are going to try and sit sit back against us because they know the attack and threat we've got. So we've got to expect that. And um, I think most most weeks, I think we'll, we'll we'll take advantage of what we've got up there. But again, today it was just one of them where, again, nothing really fell for us. Rosa's chance, I'm not sure if it was offside, but um, you know that's football. So yeah, again, a bit disappointed. But and you sort of touched on it there, you know. On another day, play like that, and we just scored three. Yeah, exactly. I think Benno did such a good job out there for doing what he, doing what he was doing. It's just. You know, hard when he did all that running and then getting into the box. It was it was hard, but he, he did so well. And I think on other on other days, you know, I think some sometimes football rewards you for for working hard. But that just didn't happen for him tonight. So hopefully on the weekend, you know, if he's if he's playing, then I think that chance chances will come to him and he'll put him away. It's just and I think Bose is back this Saturday, which is always a good thing. Um, and yeah, we just we just got to look forward to Saturday now and think we've got to go into that. And I think we can expect to win that. Um, we can expect to win any game. But you know, football sometimes you expect to win things, and you don't. Or you expect to go into games to play one way, and then the other team play differently to how you think they're they're going to play. So um, yeah, we just got to prepare right Thursday, Friday, and then come in, you know, boots strapped up and uh, ready to go on on Saturday. So yeah, I think we're all just excited for that now. So. And finally, I said it to Matt, so I'll say it to you as well. It's nice to have a home game on a Tuesday and not have a lot of travelling to you back for a home game on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, it is actually really nice. I think it's just nice now thinking I can just go home and have a, have a chill out, go to bed. Um, and yeah, it does take a lot out of you, the travelling, I think, especially my, my first season. You know, I didn't realise how much it, it does take out of you doing all the travelling. Um, but, you know, Matty manages us really well. He, he gives us the rest that we need um, and gives us the, the right amount of rest. So, yeah, we've just got to... Rest up, rest up tonight. Eat well to, tomorrow. Get hydrated, and then um, Thursday, Friday, go at it again, and um, hopefully come back Saturday to to get a win, and um, yeah, get us back where we need to be.